I was fortunate enough to read the first issue before uh, before it became so popular. Like, I'm not going to go ahead and go out and sell it, but uh, issue two has come out, issue three is going to come out in the future, and how many different printings are these going into? Uh, well, the first issue is going into its third printing on August 5th, and the second issue is going into its second printing. So uh, They are already sold out at a distributor level. So... Um, we kind of wait to see what happens uh, at a retailer level. Do we print again? I don't know. So if uh, yeah, if you're got if uh, the decision comes to print or not print again, should uh, fans just wait for the uh, trade paperback or hardcover? Hmm, that's debatable. Um, I think that I think that we're gonna go pretty bare bones with the trade, so it won't be a lot of uh, extras. So I think. I, I would say keep up with with uh, every issue, but that's just me. Uh, when uh, drawing Chu, uh, it's it's pretty it's a pretty wacky yet uh, really cool style. How long does it usually take you uh, to do maybe a page, depending on action or uh, just dialogue? Uh, it really depends. I mean, on really dialogue heavy stuff, it doesn't take very long because I have to kind of work around the dialogue and leave room for it. So I can usually. Either way, I can use usually knock out a page uh, in a in a day. Um, pencils, inks, and colors. So well, it, yeah, just it's spectacular stuff. I, I the, especially love the uh, the agent, uh, the large agent that you see here on the cover. Uh, what, what's his name? Uh, Mason Savoy. Uh, Mason Savoy. Now, when uh, is this going to be uh, an ongoing, or is, is this going to be uh, just a limited series? It, it's an ongoing with an ending. With an ending. So uh, you know, I know the ending. Uh, we're going to take our time getting to it. You know, uh, so for now and for several years, it will be an ongoing. And uh, besides two, uh, what other uh, projects are you guys uh, are you working on currently, or is there something in the future that we should uh, be looking out for? Uh, hopefully for the next, you know, five years or so, it'll just be Chu. Um, Chu's very much for me a full-time job because I am handling everything visually. Um, but I do have a few creator-owned things that I'm kicking around for the near, well, for the future after Chu. But that that may not be for a while. I'm uh, writing Champions Online, the video game for Cryptic Studios. Um, and between that and Chew, that keeps me pretty busy. Now, Champions Online is coming out on uh, September 1st, and I might start thinking about another creator of own, own book or my next comic book thing, but for now, it's just Chew and the game. And if fans want more of either of you guys, do you have Twitter or a website that they can check out? He's got Twitter. <laughs> I do have a Twitter. Uh, I also have a website, robgillery.com, and that pretty much accesses everything. I'm on MySpace, though I don't think anyone uses it anymore. Um, Facebook, Twitter, and a few other things. So, But it's all through, the, through robgillery.com. And, and we do have chewcomic.com. So if you're looking for a killer series, they're coming out in multiple printings, go check out Chew. I highly recommend it. I've talked about it on the show before. It's just a, just a fun romp throughout and something different from all these capes nowadays. Thank you guys so much, and I wish you success in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you. Here with uh, writer extraordinaire Rick Spears. Uh, Rick, uh, thank you for uh, meeting you. with us. Sure. Uh, now I've been a fan of yours ever since Teenagers from Mars, then uh, Pirates of Coney Island. I just loved, and I've noticed between uh, with uh, like black metal and Teenagers from Mars, there's a music uh, undertone, like a more of a punk rock kind of thing. Where did that come from? Like, did you have one of those kind of childhoods where you were uh, artists and musicians? I mean, uh, yeah. I mean. Uh I just always listen to music all the time and, and you know I was in a band for about 10 seconds and all my friends are, have been in bands and I just love music and, and I, I listen to it while I work and it just sort of seeps in mm -hmm. so it's not always a conscious thing but it does happen and I just you know I just go with it it's, it's also a great way to clue people in to sort of the pop culture aspects of, of what I like to write about and, and, and things like that so you know people see it they see a band poster or or whatever in the book and, and they you know they like that too and they realize that I'm, I'm talking to people that like those those bands and and then we then we can get in the story and, and have some fun so yeah and you've done a couple things with uh, the uh, artist uh, Rob G uh, there was Teenager from Mars and then there was also there's also repo uh, yeah we did a uh, uh, Teenage from Mars Dead West uh, our zombie western uh, filler which was a um, crime noir book uh, repo yeah Rob and I 
We're always working on something. So whenever you have an idea for a new comic, do you usually run it by him first, see if he might be interested, or how's that go? Well, um, at this point, Rob and I, um, we, we really, because we've done so many books now, we come up with stuff together. So we're always talking about, you know, like different things that we're into and different things that we like, and 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 that's where our like uh, teenagers. I, I came up with and I wrote that, and then I found Rob. But now it's much more collaborative. Um, so, so you know, we—that's how we work with him. And then I have other things that uh, that I'll, I'll work on, just sort of on my own. And and if they seem like they're right for Rob, then yeah, definitely I grab him because he's he's so awesome. Um, and other stuff, uh, you know, goes with other artists depending on on like I'm I'm like Chuck. I met Chuck and saw his 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 book of you know all of his illustrations and they were just amazing and and we started talking about black metal and and that's where that came out of so you know yeah so amazing that uh, it went on to win an I, uh, Chuck won an Eisner for uh, black metal yeah. is uh, any more plans for any sequels or anything of black metal yep we're working on book two now um, we're gonna do at least three of them um, but we're about halfway through book two now um, we don't have a, uh, a release date yet but uh, we're we're cranking away and what other projects do you uh, are you working on or upcoming projects that we should know about yeah I. Uh, I so much going on. Um, there's uh, Diablo Cody's new movie, Jennifer's Body, um, is coming out, and I did the graphic novel. It's not an adaptation; it's a tie-in. Um, so it sort of spins out of that, uh, out of the movie. It's not, you know, just the movie redone as a comic. Um, and it's it's fantastic. We got, uh, you know, I, I wrote it. Um, Nikki Cook, uh, Jim Mafu, Tim Seeley, some of the artists on it, um, and that's super cool. That's coming out from Fox and Boom. Uh, and then I did. Um, they're doing the Immortal Weapons books over at, at Marvel, and uh, I did the third issue of that, the Dog Brother number one book, okay, all right. which is coming out in um, September, I think. Okay. Uh, and that, I mean, that's like my first full issue at Marvel, and uh, and everybody seems really excited about it, so. And they're treating you well over there? Yeah, they, they, they're super cool. I mean, you know, uh, they, 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 I don't even know what to say. It's it's. I mean, I've, I. I it's Marvel. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I. Grew, I mean, you know, I, a lot of people know me from my independent stuff, but I did grow up reading, you know, mainstream comics, and you know, I was a Marvel kid, and and I love all that stuff, and so it's great to 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 be able to to play in there and 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 do some things, and I also just did an Iron Man story. Uh, it's going to be in the Iron Protocols book uh, that'll be out in October. So yeah, you know, and then but still doing you know stuff at Oni and and doing my own independent stuff and. Having a blast, so doing it all. <laughs> if people want to keep uh, updated with you and keep tabs on you, where would be the best place to uh, find you? Well, I've got I've got my website uh, rickspears uh, dot com and then uh, giganticgraphicnovels.com, but both of them are horribly out of date <laughs> and have absolutely no new information on them because we've just been things have been going so fast that the the, the last thing I think of is the website, which is terrible. <laughs> but uh, but I you know I send out emails and I do uh, cons and stuff like that to talk to people. So you know whenever whenever things are getting ready to drop, we always try to make as much noise as possible, and I promise to get the websites uh, 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 updated and. And, and hopefully streamline that so we can get information out better. But uh, yeah, that's, that's how it goes. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Uh, you keep writing them, and uh, I'll keep reading them. Right on, man. Thank you so much. Rick Spears, everyone. Thanks. <laughs> Garbage, you just They like it. Look, no, we, we just wrapped a week ago. We don't have anything ready to show besides that. We just literally You showed wrapped. me better stuff than that in the editing room. This is, hey, finally, I don't want to tell them this is bullshit.